Joining me with Reaction, conservative analyst and bullseye brief author Adam Johnson and former New York Congresswoman and independent Women's Forum board member Nan Hayworth. Good to have you both here. Thank you, I mean, Nan, I think it's alarming. I think it's very disturbing that so many people are moving increasingly yeah. left. The Democratic Party is being held hostage <clears throat> by these leftists. Mm -hmm. But you know what, Nan? In some ways, I get it. I mean, you have a whole yeah. generation that has been left out thanks to President Obama. I agree with you, Trish. They have been left out, and they've also been indoctrinated. Uh, we aren't learning, and of course I'm speaking with an economics major here, but we aren't learning uh, economics at the either macro or micro level in our schools. We're not learning civics. We're not learning the blessings of the Constitution, the incredible ways in which the wealth that we enjoy, the ecosystem, basically the ecosystem of wealth and prosperity in which we live has been created through the collective efforts of individuals yes. working to their utmost in a society that has had uh, relatively few barriers to that kind of prosperity. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. And by the way, Trish, thank you for pointing out the parallels between what's happening in socialism and this perverse narrative that the Democrats have embraced that somehow socialism is a good thing. Electria, uh, Alexa Ortez, uh, I can't even say her name. Alexandria Ortez. Ortez. I don't even like saying Cortez. her name. AOC. You know, somehow she's, she's getting all these sound bites because she's made it cool. And now all of a sudden you've got a mayor, Bill de Blasio, who says, oh, it's working for her. Maybe I can jump on that bandwagon as Absolutely. well. It's upsetting. It's like a fog. Social, this, this socialism narrative is like a fog that's mm -hmm. enveloping the media, the Democratic Party, and it's, it's casting shadows where there need not be shadows. If Mayor de Blasio would focus on the 15% of Bronx students who don't even get through ninth grade right. instead of trying to provide health care for illegal aliens here, he'd be a lot better off. Well, right. I mean, that's what's so crazy about it, right, too? It's, well, it's mixed with this sort of, okay, we can do it all and we'll just uh, open our borders and bring everyone here and offer them the, the land of the plenty. Well, you know, someone's got to pay for it now. Right. That, that, that's just it, Trish. Whenever the word free is used, which it always is, always. it should never be used. It's never free. It is taxpayer funded, taxpayer Thank funded. You. Uh, but, you know, in New York especially, uh, and in California, obviously, people talk about the tax rates there, too. But in New York, I work with the United Way, and we worry about people who are barely making it in New York. They're, they're you know, working families. Uh, they have almost no assets. They work paycheck to paycheck. Sure. And one of the major reasons they do that we keep, really can't help unless we change the way government, like de Blasio, looks at us and deals with us is that government, which acts coercively, government ultimately is pursued at the point of a gun, forces us to pay more for almost everything we do right. than we right. abs actually and have to. And that's why it, right. it inevitably is just a messed up scenario, as you see in yeah. Venezuela. Thank you so much, Nan. Adam, good to see you.